Hello everybody and welcome to Tanuki Token. I'm Lucas, and welcome to my still unnamed art segment. Today I'm going to be drawing Cloyster as part of my Pokemon art challenge. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, um, there will be details about this challenge in the description, because I don't want to have to explain it every single video. Alright, so let's get started. I always start my drawing with my rough sketch layer. I like to color code them, because it makes it easier for my brain to identify. I was using a reference photo for this picture, um, but I wasn't constantly looking at it. So I looked at it once, and then I did the rest of the rough sketch from my memory of having just looked at it. And part of that is because I don't want to restrict my drawing to be completely identical to um, the, the reference. It's very similar, but because I, I try to stylize the drawing, I don't want it to, you know, like I said, be restricted by that um, reference that I'm trying to recreate. And I think I did okay, but there are a couple of things I did wrong here with Cloister's design, and I will fix them in this next step. Um, but not at first, because... I didn't realize it yet. On this layer, I like to uh, kind of solidify my lines a little bit, but it's still like a rough um, cleanup. So my lines don't have to be perfect yet, but I'm just getting a better idea of what I want my final drawing to look like. You can see here I keep going in and kind of like adjusting things, and I'm not directly copying all of my original lines. You know, I'm making like little subtle changes here and there because you know the rough sketch is rough i don't want it to look exactly like my rough you know yeah so as i was doing this there's just kind of this sort of in the back of my mind i could tell something looked off about the spacing of the shell and i was like what is wrong with this why do I not like the look of this? And so it was basically after this point, I looked back at the reference photo um, and I decided to make some adjustments, which are still messy and rough. Normally I would probably do an extra rough cleanup layer before I do my final, but because I give myself a time limit on these challenges, I don't have all the time to do that, so I just let it stay messy on this layer. And now, here I am on my final layer when I'm using my, uh, my different brush to get this kind of like, you know, Japanese sort of inked look, which I think looks kind of cool. Now here I was, uh, well, okay, notice how, once again, I'm still not adhering perfectly to my original lines. That's because I want to kind of stylize it, and I want it to look better than what I did in my rough cleanup. Yeah, I had to fix the spacing there, because it just didn't look right to me, so I redid that part. Yeah, so just kind of filling in some of these other details. Now, this part was interesting to me. Um, doing this horn here, I just didn't like how it looked, so I added this little swirl to it, and I feel like it kind of helps tie the style together. It's this thing that I'll tend to do with a lot of these Pokemon drawings. As you guys will probably notice. Just kind of trying to get that to look right. Yeah, 
Do another swirly horn over here. Yeah, I think this uh, outline turned out pretty good, considering my time limits and stuff. I was happy with it. So yeah, now I'm coloring it in, and as you can see, I went over it multiple times to kind of darken that color, sort of solidify it more, because the brush that I used to color this in is actually transparent. Yeah, so just kind of adding a little bit lighter tones in there. I'm going to end up making part of it a little darker. Just cleaning up some of my mess first. Yeah, so kind of darkening, in, darkening this, uh, the inner part of the shell. And I'm going to move on to coloring the outer shell. The coloring part with this one was actually pretty simple, I think. Pretty straightforward. But it was fun to do. I enjoyed it. Yep, just cleaning up my mess again. And now notice I keep jumping to different layers while I'm coloring. And it's because I don't want to mess up my previous layers. Like, I don't want to mess up the stuff I already colored. So, if I accidentally color over top um, something I had done previously, I can just erase this without affecting that lower layer, which is nice. What I like about digital art is it's really flexible like that. Now to just fill in the last couple of details. And then I can wrap up this picture. So due to the transparency of this brush, I actually have to go over the white spots a couple times just to solidify the color. There we go. I like to wrap up the style with this uh, paper texture, kind of make it look like it's on an old scroll. Uh, when I did this, I thought I had selected the correct layer to apply this over, but it added the new layer in the wrong spot basically, but I'll just drag that down and fix that. Then I like to write the Japanese names of the Pokemon. So Cloyster's name in Japanese is Parushen. Um, it's possibly a combination of pearl and shell. Um, that's at least what the internet seems to think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure because it ends with an N sound. So maybe there's something else going on there, like some sort of pun or something, but I don't know. I don't really get it. But yeah, there we have it. There's my cloister drawing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I definitely had fun making it. If you liked it, you know, leave a like, comment, and why not subscribe? There's plenty of more videos like this in the future. Have a good day.